broken nail, bitch. Hi guys, <laughs> it's me, Marvon, having a little shot of a drone. Um, I know I've been out and about and not around, and I've just been like in hiatus and not feeling doing any uploading any videos. I'm so sorry. Um, it's just um, redoing my apartment, redoing some things in my apartment and stuff like that. So I've just been running around and really busy. The season's really picking up at my job. I'm always busy, but it's busier now. So I'm always be running around as a little quick update of daddy. Daddy's delicious and still banging his shit, so it makes him bleed. I love getting fucked so hard that she just puts you to sleep. I mean, like, I'm eating a comatose. <laughs> so anyway, the video is not about daddy. This video is so cute. Um, I This season has been ups and downs with me. Different things that I want, different things that I'm looking at, different things that I'm, like want to uh, start collecting. Um, as for me, as collecting wise, um, I always been a shoe guy, I always been a collector of shoes. I have my little Gucci collection, I have my Louis, uh, Christian Louboutin collection, I have my Giuseppe collection, and then I wanted to branch out and do something else. I will show you those collections a little bit later. I did do a Gucci video, it's called um, My Gay Shoes, if you guys check that out. Um, and it just shows you a little bit of collect a little collection of my Gucci's when I first started. And now I have a little bigger collection. Oh, I hate when my wig hurts. But I wanted to start a little bag collection. I was always a clutch person, but the thing is with clutches, it's just like um, I don't really go out like that anymore to have a clutch. I only have a Hermes clutch and I have a Prada clutch. And what else? I don't think I have anything else. I always give things away. I don't really get attached to everything like people think that I do. Hold on. <clears throat> I forgot to buy weed. Patron always helps. So, as I was going through these things, I was like, okay, what bag or what brand am I going to be in love with and start collecting and start making it happen? So, I love, um, on certain brands, I love, like, bags that just been through stuff a little bit. Not too much of wear and tear, but just pre-love with, with a little bit more love. Does that make sense? I don't want to be pre-love that just been abandoned, Okay. <laughs> It's been in the goodwill. No, I'm talking about pre-love with a little bit of love, okay? So, let's start a Louis Vuitton pre-love collection. So, things that I had in mind, I wanted the denim duffel bag. I'm still looking for that. I want the speedy 25-inch strap bag. I want that one a little bit more loved than new. So, I want it in between in love and new, but more into newish. A little bit, but I still like the patina being, I still like the leather being used. And I'm gonna put patches on, I'm gonna make it really, really cool. So I'm still on, I'm still debating on getting the bag in auction wise, because I still want it love, I don't want it brand new. And so I went on eBay and I found my starter bag to start my collection, and I got myself a pre loved Louis Vuitton multicolor. Uh, this is the champagne. Um, bag I think it's called or holder this is the the one that they used to put I just received it today I am like obsessed the leather is gorgeous it's a black bag it's go 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 gorgeous I mean like beyond gorge 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 I just got this from a vendor in on eBay like I said before um, pretty good deal it was for I think it was eight something and then I got it for $5.95. Like, you know, you make your own offer and see if they take it. Cause I just I just wanted to test it out to see if I love the bag, if I want the bag. Um, and the owner was so cute. Regular bag, I, I forgot that I ordered the bag and stuff and then I received it and I just got this package and I was like, what? And it was so cute, wait, let me show you. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh wait, here it is. Came in a cute little box. It was so cute with an envelope, with my real birth name. I don't use this name, but you know what I mean. This is my real birth name, Harra, Harra, Latin. You know how Latin people are, the H, I mean the J is like an H, you know, whatever's, whatever's, whatever's. So imagine my life when I was a kid and I had all those white teachers. Gyro, 
Gyro. Presente. Ugh, couldn't stand it. So Marvin is my middle name, and I just started, everyone calls me Marvin, so that's what it is. Marvon is my lifestyle, so get on the program. So she gave me a cute little note. It was cute. I kind of felt like it was a she, you know? And obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. This is like the best gift ever you can give anyone is a handwritten note. Nobody does that. Nobody no uses pens and nobody uses paper, okay? It's kind of cool. You're like, you get a text and they're like, oh my God, he totally loves me. Okay, like, get out of here. This is so cute. Thank you note, multicolor, loved. She knew she was dealing with me. Handwritten, like, it was so, it's so pretty. I love it. I'm gonna cherish this card so much. I'm actually gonna keep this card in my bag the whole time that I'm using this bag because I kind of felt like this is this is a cute. I love this gesture. This was the, this is that I love the most. So I got the bag. She wrapped it up. I have to say she. I kind of feel like it is a she. I like it is. She wrapped it up in a in, um, bubble wrap and then colorful paper. Love it. It's so cute. So okay, with the bag. So the bag is a little bag. It's supposed to hold six champagne bottles. I never tried it because I just got it today. So I'm un unstrapping the bag. What I, what I fell in love with the bag is I felt like the person that had it before really took care of the bag. It's just, the leather is so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Sorry that my nails look like shit because I am doing my apartment, so don't judge, okay? And I love, what I fell in love most, because I, I did not want a new bag, I love that the leather has been worn, but it's been taken care of, because it looks like it's just been regular wear. It's not like throwing around and shit. I mean, in the bottom, it looks like, you know, when you just leave your bag on the floor, when you go on your little grinder dates and you just throw it on the floor and you knowing that the floor is dirty and shit and you just wake up and you be like, damn, motherfucker, damn. Wasn't it a good night? <laughs> so it does have his little grinder story in the bottom. And, it's just, the inside is like gorgeous. I felt like the inside, they just took care of it. Oh, there's no light in here. It's so hard to see from the inside, but shit. The, if I put it back here, I think you can maybe see it. The inside is really nice. The leather inside is really beautiful. She really, whoever had this, I'm gonna say she, took care of it with so much love. The leather, even the leather straps, is not hasn't been tied up or worn out. It has the Louis symbol all over the little thingy thingies. They have the strap here, the little uh, tag, and then it has the strappy strap. The strap is short. I really felt like the strap was going to be longer because I wanted it to put it like this, but I wanted it, let me stand up a little bit. I wanted it to come down more, but I kind of like that it goes only, ow, I fucking broke the nail more, shit. Anyway, I like that it just falls down like this. I kind of like that it's just like this. I totally want to rock it this way. Nobody is going to have this bag on the streets at all. That's what makes me fall in love with the bag more. I can slouch it more because I really wanted like a slouchy bag that I can throw things. Um, I wanted it to carry it like this, you know, and then um, I like when you tie it too. You tie the bag here, it makes it a little bit smaller and pouchier. Let me just... I'm going to stuff it with paper for you guys to see the volume of the bag that is just fucking beautiful. I love when people just take care of things that are just with love. This is a collabo that um, Mark Jacob, when Mark Jacob used to be with Louis Vuitton, he did this collabo with an, uh, another uh, designer and they made this multicolor bag. I don't think this bag was very um, famous or sold as, as much because I felt, I, I was looking at reviews and stuff about this bag and people were saying like, oh, like, it's been tarnished. They tarnished the bag by putting these multicolors. I think it makes it fun and youthful, and I really liked it. I love the sides. The sides of the bag, this was a new thing to me. The sides of the bag, what I loved is that they have the Louis, I don't know if you can see it with my camera, with my lighting. It has it inside. It's so effing cool. The sides are brand new. Um, I'll maybe like put like, I don't know, lube. When I'm with daddy, pot, 
<laughs> when I'm with daddy or something. I don't know. It's really, really cool bag. I want to get two other accessories that that are um, that are multicolor Louis Vuitton. I want to get the little zipper wallet with a little keychain thing, and I want to get a big um, little like makeup bag kind of thing. I could put some stuff in here, and that's the only two things I'm gonna put in this bag that I'm gonna obsess with. Then I could rock it outside. This is gonna be my winter bag because um, I've, I've, uh, little, 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 little. obviously you guys know. If you guys don't know, I live in New York, so it gets really gray sometimes. So I really like things like this to just pick up your spirit. It's really cool. So I can wear it like this, I can wear it across. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I really love my bag. So that's gonna be my new season thing. I'm really, really cool. You can just throw everything and go. I wanted a bag I could throw things and go. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. And look at, if you can see it there, it's just giving you a life. Giving life. Giving life, giving life, giving life. The leather is gorgeous. It's so much better in person. When I saw the pictures, it was between this one and another bag, exactly the same, but the other one was a little bit more worn out. It had stains inside, this one didn't. But the bottom of the other one was brand new. Kinda, I kinda felt like, you know what? I really would like, I really wouldn't care about the bottom as much. I just care about the inside being nice. So I decided to stay with the inside being cool and the outside being bad. This bad, this part. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. Yeah, but I love my little bag, love my little bag. It's not little than the mouth. So I'm gonna start my collection. This closet that you see behind me that doesn't have a, a knob because like I said, I'm doing my apartment. I'm redoing my apartment. I'm getting some stuff, furniture and stuff like that. So um, I am going to do this closet with my bags and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start my collection. This is the first one that's gonna be there in that collect in that closet. You know, show off your stuff, Miss Thing. Show off your stuff. So beautiful. Oh, it's just gorge. It's just gorge. It's gorge, gorge, gorge. So I hope you like my story. Um, and the other thing is a lot of people are really skeptical, like, oh should I shop on eBay? Do I trust eBay and stuff? Let me tell you something. Do your research first before you start looking for any Pre-love bags. It could be Gucci or pre-love bags. Look at all the tutorials on YouTube. Look at all, all the things that can just like open your eyes about this bag. Or whatever you're looking for. Shoes, bags, whatever. Look at every little detail. Um, my buyer had several pictures, so it was like fine. I was like, okay, I'm not worried about it. And I have shopped on eBay and I had got fucked over on eBay with other things. Not expensive bags like this, but with other things like... As you can see behind me, there's a ghost chair with the pillow there. The ghost chairs are like $2.25 each. I really wanted these damn ghost chairs. And then I went on eBay to look for them, but there was like some fake ones. I wanted the original, original good one. So I was like, okay, what can I do to get them? And I was looking for them and I found them on eBay for $30 each. I was like, great deal, take them, they're amazing. You're going to love them. So I was excited. So one day, a little girl like me ordered it, waiting for it, got my um, estimated day that I'm going to receive this, these two chairs. And I was so excited. I received a box the size of my Patron box. Not this one, but the size of my Patron box. And this is what I found. $30 each, $60 for Barbie's motherfucking chairs. So, I was, you don't understand how furious I was. Then I had to go buy these motherfucking chairs and then I had these $60 chairs for Barbie. So please do your research before you do any purchases online. Do your research first before you do it because you don't want to end up like me with two fucking chairs that don't even fit not one butt cheek okay i hope you like my little quick little video on my cool bag i am going to do much much more when i start getting more and more in the collection and mind you everything that i'm getting is going to be pre-loved i like the pre-love than the brand new one i just feel like the brand new bags are really cool and everything but it's just not my style i don't like it crisp i like a little bit of the story just like everything else i have so i hope you like my video Stay tuned so much more and be the lit shots.